Hi everyone! So I guess that you're watching this video because you are a do-it-yourselfer kind of girl and you want to do your own makeup on your wedding day and that's wonderful. It's such an amazing day and I'm so happy for you. Um, this looks really easy. I do do it on a few of my um, clients and I really hope that you love it and feel so beautiful. And I'm going to go ahead and zoom in so we can get started and I'll show you how it's done. See you soon. Bye! Let's go ahead and get started. And we're going to start off with um, this color called Naked Lunch. And that one, we're going to go ahead and apply all over the lid. So just do a quick coat of it everywhere. And then your next step is going to be to take a flat brush like this one. And I'm going to take this color Sweet Lust, and um, that's just a shimmery pink, and that's going to be applied on the eyelid to help highlight it a little bit. So apply that all over the lid. You can even go in the inner corners if you'd like. Next, go ahead and take, um, this color is called Hoax, and it's like um, a purple brown color. And I take um, just my fluffy brush and apply that color into the crease area. And what that helps to do is to just define um, the crease a little bit. Now you're going to want to go ahead and take a color um, which is a bright pink. And it doesn't have a lot of shimmer in it. This one's called Sushi Flower by MAC. And apply the pink over the brown that you just um, placed. This helps to um, give a nice highlight um, to that crease because you don't want it to look too dark. Um, so you brighten it up with the pink. Okay, that's looking good. Now to make it a little bit brighter I'm taking this um, purple and I'm applying that right over about halfway through the crease where I just put that pink. All right, see how I'm just going about halfway and I'm cleaning off my brush and I'm gonna go back in and just blend. All right. And the color, um, the purple color that I just used is called Hep Cat and that's by MAC. All right, now I'm going to grab a deep purple, it's almost like a wine color, it's called Sketch, and I'm going to use a flat brush like this one, dip it in the Sketch, and I'm applying that deep color right to the outer corners of the eyes in a V shape. And again, just blending that in with the fluffy brush. One of your last shadows that you're going to go ahead and use is going to be, this is a, it almost looks like a gray or a black, but it's actually an extremely deep purple. It has some gray tones in it, it has some black tones in it, but it's actually purple. It's called Shadowy Lady, um, and again, it's a shadow by MAC. And I'm going to take that same flat brush that I used and I'm going to apply the shadowy lady just in the outer corners really low on the eyelid and that's going to give a really pretty smoky effect right here see how I'm going? and then go ahead and blend that in now you're going to go ahead and your next step is going to be to line the eye. Now when I line um, bride's eyes, I usually, 9 times out of 10, will always use a waterproof liner. So I'm going to use the Aqua Eyes by Makeup Forever and I'm using a black one. You can use brown if you'd like. It depends on how dramatic of a look you want. And just go ahead and line the upper lash line. Make sure to kind of thin out the line when you get closer into the eye. You don't want it too thick, like in this area right here. And 
you can do it a little thicker on the edges. All right, and in this particular picture, the liner is on the inner um, water line as well. So go ahead and line that. And you can go ahead and line um, under the upper lash line as well, right in this area. Your next step after you've lined the lashes is that you're going to want to go ahead and I'm going to take my sketch again and uh, again that, that little flat brush that I've been using and I like to take the sketch and just smoke under that lower lash line. And I'm going to next take my um, angled brush, this one right here, and I'm going to take that shadowy lady which is that real deep color that we used. And I'm just going to fill in right along the lash line of where I put that black liner. Your last and final step is going to be to take a highlight color and I'm using Floof by MAC and go ahead and I'm just going to take a pointed brush like this, dip it in your Floof, highlight under the brow, and in the inner corners of the eyes. Now go ahead and add a bunch of mascara which I'm going to go and do and I'll be right back. Okay so here we are back with mascara and I wanted to go ahead and share with you the lip colors that I use um, for this look. So I started off by using um, this liner, it's called Bure and it's by MAC and it's just a neutral pink liner and of course I line the lips with that and then I used um, this lipstick color um, Bombshell is the name and it's just a pink um, lipstick and filled in the lips with that and then finally I went over everything with a pink gloss and this is Heartfelt Pink um, by MAC and you can see the name right there I always like to do a, um, a pink look on the mouth usually Okay, and that's it. Um, congratulations on your special day. Remember, stay cute. Bye, guys.